Proverbs 19.17 says, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and He will reward them for what they have done. You know, God always sees those who society seems to overlook. The poor, the downcast, the outcast. God sees them. He knows them, and He loves them. As followers of Jesus, we have the opportunity to be the hands and feet of Jesus to this world. Jesus gave us an opportunity to join the Secret Service. Not the kind that guards the president, but the kind that serves others without broadcasting it to the whole world. Matthew 6, 3 says, But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. When you do acts of kindness in secret, God invites us to keep these secret acts of kindness between only us and God. See, this is what creates the best kind of secret, one that does no harm, one that points people to God rather than to us and allows us to have something really special that we only talk with God about. This means we don't post it on social media or discuss it with friends and family, just God. And when we can practice that kind of self-control and keep this kind of service between us and God, it builds our relationship with God because it builds our trust with Him and it creates a friendship that is filled with just your prayer dialogue and that discovery of your secret serve mission and joy that comes straight from Jesus. This is good stuff, you guys. These are the things that builds memories and relational depth, which are what create intimacy in your relationship with God. So let me encourage you this week to not only pray, but to put these scriptures into practice. Go on a God adventure and ask God to reveal to you who you can serve in secret today.